Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm Rose Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing our San Marino challenge on FM21, which is to take the tiny micro state of San Marino all the way to number one in the FIFA rankings. Simultaneously, we're taking a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions League glory. Uh, and for that portion of the challenge, we're taking a club based in San Marino, but playing in the Italian pyramid called San Marino Calcio. Uh, went to Funk 2019. Apparently, it's back. Uh, been refounded, so you should be able to find them in lower division databases in FM22 and later if uh, you're checking that out. But, but for this universe and for purposes of this challenge, uh, we took them over, pumped a ton of money into them, rebranded them and everything. Uh, really pimped out the youth and takes to see if this challenge is even possible. This is like a best case scenario uh, from early on to see if you can really actually do this because if uh this works then it's possible but if you can't do it with this challenge just may be too much for people uh so so far we're doing all right uh so let's take a look at where our ranking is now we are 85th in the world done a very good job starting from my reign here where we are 197th after went up a little bit and now we've climbed over 100 spots to the top 90. We're coming off a uh, trip to the Euros. Went undefeated in our group with a win over Iceland. Enough to get us through top of our group, but we lost in the first knockout stage to Ireland. Tough loss. I'm not overly happy about it, but I mean, not like Ireland wasn't a good team. Uh, but still, I think we, we could have done better there. Uh, disappointing, but, um, you know, it's a successful outing as we did manage to get out of our group in our first time action this was our first major tournament so you can't be too too upset about that um now we're up to nation's league competition again as we are going to be in the uh last bit before world cup qualification which we're gonna be looking for our first world cup which i think i'm expecting us to actually qualify so uh, that's gonna be good so for this uh this is good practice here we get some decent teams here in nations league b uh so these are some good matches for us uh so our first setup our first set of internationals here gonna be romania and russia and we're gonna have the dutch it's gonna be a big challenge um so we'll see how this goes so romania is 51st russia is 23rd so that's gonna be a good challenge too and the netherlands are 11th so this should be good challenge for us i expect us to at least stay up uh romania we should be able to take i think in both of these matches and that would be more than enough to keep us up in b uh but i think we have a chance against russia too uh netherlands could be a tough one for us but we have a shot so uh let's go romania first uh this is pretty much like i said a must win we're playing not all of our top players but we're playing a number of them um, to see, to, just to get us off to a good start, basically, is what we're looking for. Um, it's a pretty much an unchanged squad since the Euro, so, you know, uh, should be good enough. So, um, get into it. All right, so we actually have two attackers going here so this is gonna be very very interesting very interesting because ramos can super attack and berardi definitely is a super attacker he's definitely more winger than than defensive back he's not actually a bad defensive back though so um this could work out actually let's let's do this a lot of our players are not match fit so this is gonna be fun uh that's okay should be able to make it through this i think uh so uh just birthday is gonna get a start here over chachi who will bring in for the second one uh we definitely want at least one of those guys to be ready for uh russia is that then g as well getting a rest uh we're already getting a rest. We're going to bring in Giotti, who's a winner kid, but 
Uh, it's not quite the guy I looked for here. Probably be better actually as a box to box. You know what we might do actually? This is something I'm starting to think about now. Maybe. Bring in Chiardi. Or a uh, Galtieri to play a DLP here. That just can work in the bowling. This is going to be, this is definitely more backup than we like, but it's good. It'll work. Uh, forward, attack. We may have to flop you guys. We're going to play down both wings. Uh, you know what? Does no one's really dumb about this? I screwed it up. Because. Did not set this for next match because I'm dumb. Next match only. Because for some reason, if I were to take that later, it would not hold. You have to do the changes with that checked. Otherwise, it just overrides everything I did. Why? I don't know. So you're going to be the DLP. Play you as a halfback. You're attacking. Screwed that up still. Uh, still screwed up. Okay, I'm going to have to change this afterwards. Uh, never mind. Come. Let's see what we got here. Check the footness first. Left, right, 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 left, and right only. Okay, perfect. All right. You are. Not bad. You are not bad. Pretty good winger. Oh yeah, bars blowing up. Hmm, interesting. What was your? We'll hit you. Trion. Hey, this team is like not terrible. Like I thought they were gonna be a lot worse than they were. They're gonna be a lot worse than they were. They're Burnley. Hmm. Probably not gonna press them at first, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, with their dribbling skills. They're pretty good dribblers, and our wingbacks are not good tacklers. Uh. Guy is okay, not a good of a fullback. Midfielder playing? Uh, okay. So defensively, they are not so good. That guy's playing like out of position. Yeah, defensively, they're not very good. Goalkeeper's not bad though. The so Roma? Alright, this, this will actually be something then. Hm. This is gonna be interesting then. Very interesting. Oh. Are you confident Bellini will perform today? Some experts are speculating that he can struggle, but he should be fine. Uh, is Giddy fit enough to last the full duration of this match? Eh, good enough. Got three changes. Gonna be making all three of them. We'll see how this goes though. This is a team that's about maybe just slightly less talented than we are. Maybe more talented, I don't know. I think they're they're a touch a touch underrated. 
in the 50s probably be the 30s which is about where we should be I think but we've gotten good results against teams ahead of us but talent wise yeah we're not quite there yet we don't have a superstar which is what we need we really need we're hoping to that we get one pretty soon like most we gotta develop one is, is the problem I think Tomei may be the one that we're going to be looking at. He's only 17, so he's got a lot of developing to do. I mean, we did produce one, but they went to Italy, so it doesn't help us. Oh. That superstar. Oh, Bellini. That a boy. See? Stupid reporters. That's what we're talking about. But our man, Golo Momoldini, who came through our second youth intake, Sam Marinese, played for Italy instead. Won the Bolon d'Or uh, a few years ago. He was like 21. Definitely world class player. Of course, he chose Italy pretty much right away, so can't be too surprised about that. But still, I would have loved to have him on. This team as a superstar goal scorer. Oof, mistake. But, oh, that's not a very good pass, though. He puts out in front of him. He's on the run. Little chip. And this is where it's a little bit tough here because uh, they're both on links. Maybe they might do better if I flop them. Since Fury's right footed and Jerry's left footed. Job getting back, though. Take advantage of the mistake there. That was a pretty bad one. Gave us a huge opportunity that we could not take advantage of. So far, defensively, we're showing out. Good countering here, Galtieri. Not usually something I see him do. More of a passer. Not really much of a runner, but that was pretty good. Us. Netherlands beating Russia as we would expect. That's nothing to be concerned about. Netherlands is the best team in this group. I expect them to be the top. we can give them a surprise or two. Over the top. Nice. Fiorini. Oh my god. Come on, man. That's one we got to have. Let me flip it over to the match camera here. A little bit smaller. You can kind of see a little bit better. Uh, I can't hit a long ball to Bellini like that. It's five for three. Great little turn too. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was like a great little turn too. I liked it. I like that a lot. Okay, they're going more attacking. It might open it up some space for us. For us, maybe. Siblings are getting a little bit. Go in there. Oh. Ooh. I don't need a shot yet. They're not playing badly. They're not playing so good that I really need to do anything. Good ball. Ugh. Ramos has got a card now. Here we 
we go. We're already developed into a nice piece for us, I think. Oh, I just Jerry would have just kept going with that. He had some room. I keep it as a youngster for a long time, and I was like, eh, I don't know. He's got talent, but I'm not sure if he's ready. But he's been pretty good lately. He's kind of developed right into a great ball. What a ball. That's what we expect out of Ramos. He's got to do that more often. This is what he's in there for, to make plays like that. He's got all the talent in the world. He's an attacker, an attacking force. Should really tell in, in things like this. I mean, he's the attackingness is so much better than a, especially this team's defense. He's got oh, Okay, well that's not good. Ramos has got Premier League teams looking for him in Chelsea and uh, who else was looking at Leicester or something? Nice. That's a way to get it back. That's a way to get it back. Pick your man up when he makes a mistake like that. It wasn't a bad mistake. I can understand why it hit him and went in. I'm not... Super upset about that. He was in the right position, trying to make a play. We can we can handle that. I want more. We want more, 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 more. A uh, jetty, of course, is probably gonna come out soon. Um, see who we bring in for that, and then we'll see from there. I think I'm gonna do a little flop ski here between these two guys. Uh. Just to see if this might get them going a little bit. Actually, well, I probably should have flopped them uh, the other way because I don't want to change their places in the set piece, especially defensively. Got his diamond in the air. That's exactly who you want sitting in the middle there, cleaning those up. We're gonna try to hold the ball a little bit now. Plan now to try and hold on to the ball a little bit. Take some of the sting out of this. Put some possession plays. Not something we're really good at, but it's something I, th I think we can do a bit of. We could still get out at pace. Oh, especially when Fury's gonna hit a bomb like that. Exactly the kind of devastating counterattack we'd like to see. Remember, San Marinese forwards are all the same prototype. Pace, acceleration, and dribbling. We'd like to get them running. Get them on the ball and running. I give a roasty few minutes here. They all have different strengths other than that, but every single one has pace, acceleration, and finishing, or and dribbling. So he's outside. This guy was outside when he got the ball. Taking the sting out of everything with the shorter passing does not seem to be working. Irini feeling himself here. Nice. Oh, oh, what a little reverse ball there. 
Wow. Wow. They are playing right now. They are playing. Yeah, we're not getting any more passing in. <laughs> They're not dealing with us right now. They are not dealing with us. Not exactly who you want to hit a high ball to. I mean, Ramos is 5'3", three too. 5'3", three as well. Like, half the team is super short. Bellini's real short. Ramos is real short. Uh... Tia Giardi is short, even though he's got an almost okay jumping reach. It's like that. Is he at eight or nine now? Tome is real short. He's 5'3. He's got like six jumping reach, though. Guilty area is pretty short. Yeah, look. That 5'3. He's got eight jumping reach, though. Tia Giardi. 5-3, 8 jump and reach, not bad. Ramos, like I said, real short. 5-5, five, 5, five jump and reach, not good, not too good. Okay, we're gonna let Brody go now. I'm gonna bring Gideon. Might be a good opportunity. The future, future is coming. Remember, this PA is for national team, but also for the club level, where uh, three stars is a leading Saria player. He's also, I think, four and a half. He might be higher than that, actually. No, he might be still at four to five. So he is going to be real good, and you can see already, he's seventeen, he's already starting to be something. If he continues this season to really progress, we might bring him up next year to the club level, let him play. keep you on not tackling because I need you to pick up a yellow card flick oh that touch oh yeah I just see what you're trying to do but that was tough tell me he'd bring it down instead and just beat him beat him off the dribble come back oh an own goal 80 second minute this is a statement to the rest of the group that hey we don't suck we're not here to make up numbers in this group we deserve to be in nations league b we have some talent that showing at the euros of getting out of the group not a fluke. We are a decent team. Don't get complacent. That was a big win. At home though. Still very good. Very good. Oof. Say that particular final score was on the cards would be an exaggeration. Just how pleased are you by the outcome? It's a good feeling when things going together like that. I really do like it. And we're very, uh, very proud of the, the result. 
Uh, substituting Gianluca Bolini when he was on a hat trick raised some eyebrows today. Can't be pleased with that decision. I don't care because he was tired and we needed someone else to come in. And I felt confident the game was won at that point. So getting Tomei some time, some run out there, always a good decision. So we are clear top of the group right now. Netherlands and Russia drew. Means we could be in a great position if we can take out Russia in Russia. Although that might be a bit too much for us. I think we can definitely take a point. Oh, Arisha got sent off in Greece. We just sold him to Leicester or 10 and just straight 10. I thought we did more. Oh, well. We were hoping he would pan out a little bit more for us, but he's still a good player, a really good player, but he's not going to break our team right now. So I decided we can sell him on. So good luck to Marisha. Very good player. All right, young San Marino shine against Romania. Young San Marino side show that you can win with kids as they came out top against a much more, uh, much more experienced Romania side. Very nice. A thumbs up to us. San Marinese under 21s uh, lost 3 0 to England. Not a surprise. We're not quite to that depth yet. We do have some good players, but they are young. Julian uh, Nelly. Remember when I said this is going to be a top level player? 16. Going to be top level. Probably be a top level player. Uh, like I said, 16 as well. Uh, KD. Left back. I don't see these guys. Uh, Choni here. Top level back. Hit some lines 20. Uh, so he's got uh, some ways to go if he's going to make that potential. Uh, Akarichi. 16 as well. You can see he's making his way up. Another short king. 5'9. Oh, that's not too bad. But that guy's jumping reach. He can get some passing in him. Some vision. He could be. Pretty good box to box for us, I think, but so, got a ways to go there. But um, we do like the talent here. So, but you can see we are still so young that our under 21s are featuring U18s. So the the problem with having only one system breaking out or pumping out youth is that it's hard to build depth. Um, but we have some depth getting there so uh, we're working on it we're working our way here Pelichoni sick uh, 18 year old one so, so uh, people coming people going we're working on it uh, Perlita definitely a player I want to bring up but we, we don't have any room right now uh, but yep yeah, that's gonna do it here we did a very good job here Great job, goal and two assists for Giardi, who we just sold this over this transfer window to Real Zaragoza. Um, he was in the last year of his contract, and so we had to sell him on because he wanted a crazy contract. And I was like, "You are the backup to the backups right now, uh, even though you are you were scoring goals for us. Um, we can't give you that kind of a same contract for." So uh, on he went for 35 million. Not bad. So hopefully he, he lights the, up the Spanish league. That would be great. I would love it. So that's going to do it for us here uh, in this episode. We'll be back. We have Russia in a couple days. And uh, hopefully we can get a result in Russia. So thank you all for hanging out and watching. If you're enjoying yourself here, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the good stuff on these videos. Really appreciate it. Shout out to all subscribers already. And there's also links in the description to Twitch and Twitter if you want to come hang out some more. We do a little bit of streaming. Uh, US Eastern Standard Time nights for like an hour a night. So definitely uh, come out if you if you like. Terrible time for a lot of people, but got to do things when you can. So that's my time. Uh, so if you ever have a chance, come, come hang out a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it here. Definitely. Uh, uh, looking good so far so 
Let's see if we can keep it up. So y'all stay good, stay safe, stay well, and stay healthy out there. And we'll see you all next time.